the top you never been You might need a respirator Money on the rise like I'm counting on the elevator You gon' need a detonator Swimming with them barracudas Close the docket on that motherfucking prosecutor What's up, people? This your boy John Doe. How y'all doing, man? Here we go. Here we go again. Another week, another two cents. Yes, sir. Apologize. I'm late on top of I didn't give y'all the two cents last week. So I know y'all probably like, God damn, though. Man, you missing out on a lot of shit, man. It's a lot of shit that you ain't even covered, man. What the hell you been up to? I would say busy, but I ain't been that busy. You know what I'm saying? Been lazy. <laughs> I know I was supposed to get this out to y'all, man. I've been doing a lot of shit, but you know what I'm saying? There ain't really nothing that kept me from doing my two cents, to be honest. I should have definitely put out the two cents, you know what I'm saying? But I'm here. Uh, we're going to talk about EA, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Commentators flip-flopping. Sony lies once again. Um, is Nintendo really dead? Um, what else do I need to cover? Will say Microsoft shows improvement, uh, but let's just start. Let's just start talking, show. You know what I'm saying? I'll start talking, and let it flow. You know, because I ain't editing and re-editing the video or nothing like that. Done, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let it be what it be. You know, I do it. You know, I like to do it right off the head, one take. Um, first of all, we're gonna start off with Sony lying to the people. See. And this way the biasness comes in at, you know what I'm saying? The Sony Pony Play Slaves. <laughs> I, like, I like that shit, man. Sony Pony Play Slaves, man. Because when it comes down to their console, there's no objectivity to their console. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to have accountability. You know, they say one thing and then... As soon as Sony make them look like fools, oh, oh, well, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. But to be honest with you, Sony using 3.5 of the memory for, you know what I'm saying, the OS, and you know what I'm saying, apps and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying, other than using it for gaming, it's 4.5 for games. Which isn't bad, you know what I'm saying? That is honestly a good thing because you can see drastic improvements to the experience of being on on PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? This go around, you know, drastic improvements. So it's actually a good thing because you gotta think about how much RAM your own. Um, your console actually needs to run. It, it really doesn't need that much to run the game. You know what I'm saying? Optimal level because it's not doing that much. Like when people put all of this RAM and all of the overclocking on the computer, you gotta understand this in computer is multiple things going on on the computer, which requires for it to have that much RAM. You know what I'm saying? But when it come down to these consoles. It's just for gaming, basically. You know what I'm saying? When you gaming, you gaming. You know what I'm saying? When people be on the computer, they have multiple screens up. You know what I'm saying? They might have TV streaming on this one, Twitch streaming on another one, a game over here. You know what I'm saying? Have Skype on another. You, you, you get what I'm saying? It's like a lot of stuff people do when they be on the computer compared to when you be on the console. Consoles, you might be in a in a party chat. You know playing the game, you know, you ain't got like no television in the background going, you know, and stuff of that nature, you know, you downloading games, you know what I'm saying, and stuff in the background, but it ain't as 
intense as what's going on on the computer. So you don't need all that RAM. So 4.5 gigs, 5 gigs, that's more than enough. That's, then look, look at what they did with this, these generational consoles. You know what I'm saying? Um, what Xbox had, um, 512 megabytes of RAM. You know, like, you know, something like that, though. And they were able to do great things with Xbox, you know. So, it's like quadruple the amount of RAM that's going to be in the um, next-gen console. So, they're going to be able to do some amazing things, you know. Shoot, the rendering going to look way better. You know, you're going to see everything, you know. But the Wii U ain't even in this discussion because we already know it's lackluster and what they're giving the Wii. But that's a dead console, like, like I said. Is it a dead console? That's the question. Um... I don't feel it as bad, but I think it's time that the Sony ponies just stand up and admit that PlayStation is some goddamn lies, which they is. They lie to you all the time. Y'all need to admit it, man. It's the truth. It's out there. They done lie. They lied to you about being able to play PlayStation 3 games on the Vita, and now from what I'm hearing, they, they said that... Most of the PlayStation 4 games ain't gonna be able to be played on this Vita, you know what I'm saying? Another dead system, you know what I'm saying? But that, 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 I'm not gonna go into that. We're just gonna leave that way as that. But I feel that shit is dead as well. Just for the lack of support for it, you know. Well, let's move on. Um, Nintendo. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. See? I already said I feel they're going to have to put out another console within the next two years because I don't feel the Wii U is up to par with the systems that's dropping which is not it's not even that I don't feel it's not up to par with the next generation systems that's coming out it's barely it's, it's a little bit better than the systems we already got. So, that definitely doesn't make it on par with what we got coming out. You know what I'm saying? This generation. And people ain't going to want to dump down their games that much to put them on the Wii. Because that's what they would have to do. They would literally have to go backwards to put games on the Wii. So, therefore, they're going to miss a lot of third-party games. Which isn't necessary. You already got stores over in the UK pulling the Wii U off the shelves. So how long do you think it's going to be before companies in the U.S. start pulling Wii U's off the shelf? And when that happens, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Nintendo is done. So they're going to have to do some real soul searching and find themselves and stop being so cocky. That's what I'm going to call it. They're they being cocky right now. Because they feel they can do no wrong and people going to just take their bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You can't dangle Mario games in front of people all the damn time and Zelda games and feel well, you can do whatever you want with, with, with your hardware. They, they just, I can see, see they being selfish because they don't, Nintendo is real, they some real penny pinches. They give you all these games, these exclusives, because everybody knows Nintendo got the most established exclusives. That's what I'm going to say. Established exclusives. So, they just live off of those established exclusives, and they live off their loyal fan base. Nothing wrong with that. But the loyal fan base is going to eventually get tired of your bullshit. Because they want to game like everybody else in the world game. You don't think they want, want to play Final Fantasy 15? You don't think they want the new Kingdom Hearts on their system? You don't think they want to play Battlefield in its full glory? I hell, I do. You know what I'm saying? I would. Shoot, even Watch Dogs ain't going to play right on your system. See, now, that's what I want to say. I want to actually see how, because I'm not getting a Wii U. Uh -uh. No. I, 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 will go, I didn't get 
two ones in the PS4 before I get a Wii U. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna waste my money on that console. It, uh -uh, I can't do it. They're gonna have to release something worth buying. And then, I, from what I'm hearing, you can't get your information off the control pad and all of this other. <sighs> Peter Moore said it best. The Wii U is an offline console in the online world, which is true. Because they only push forward single-player games. You know what I'm saying? And people want to play multiplayer games. They want to play games with their friends. Games with their friends online that they have built through other avenues with other consoles on the PC. You know, because people play on Steam, people play on the Xbox, people play on the PS4, and they build friendships with people. You know, but they can't carry those same friendships over to the Wii U because the Wii U isn't that accessible. Well, I'm not going to say it's not that accessible, but it's not user-friendly when it comes down to user interface, you know, like cross-chat and all of that good stuff that cross-game chat like the other consoles will be. PlayStation 3 isn't right now, but they're having it on the PlayStation 4. Kudos to them for getting that, you know what I'm saying, that, that is a good look, you know. I'm glad y'all finally getting it, you know. But, you know, everybody else taking the heat except for Sony. I mean, except for Nintendo, which is horrible. You know. But I think I'm going to skip Nintendo this year round. You know what I'm saying? I got a Wii. No Wii U. I will not buy a Wii U. I will not spend my money. When they drop their new console, I get all the Wii U games on that console. That, that's how we'll do it because, you know, always, if the game popular, they'll make a Wii U. Uh, Next gen version of that same game, so that's when I get the games. I'm not, I'm not gonna go out and buy with you. I'm sorry. It's a dead console. I'm sorry. I got, I'm gonna let it be what it is. You know, it's a 360 PS3 console. You know what I'm saying? It's on that level. It's not on the next gen level. Y'all, y'all gotta go back and come out with something a little bit better. All right, let's move on, shall we? I put a video out, you know, RT blocking, real talk blocking. It was a two cents a little while ago. If you ain't seen it, go back and check it out. When I was talking about a commentator, we're going to call him Ball Bull. You know what I'm saying? Mike Tyson punch out. You know, Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying? With Mike, you know what I'm saying? We're going to call him Ball Bull. All right. It seems he is flip flopping, you know. He puts out first he starts off putting out these biased videos, you know, cause I had followed this this gentleman for a while, you know what I'm saying? He was right on point. He was giving me credible information. I go check it and I'm right on point. I go out and check it, you know what I'm saying? Love it. And then I notice. I noticed he started slacking. He started slacking on my info. I'm like, no, man. So I go check it. It wasn't, it wasn't sounding right. You know what I'm saying? Then he started getting biased. You know, and then when you start getting biased, and then you putting out uncredible stories, oh, man. And you're supposed to be a journalist on this thing. You're supposed to be leading. See, because people come to you for information because they feel that you're credible. And if you're lying to the people, you hurt your credibility. Nobody can trust you. So now he backtracking. He's saying that he's going to have to go back and look up all this information himself, which he should have been doing. He should have never posted a story not knowing if it was, you know what I'm saying, true or false. Because the story can come from anywhere. People can make up stories. You know. And then you got, where he got bias on his console selection, 
real advice, you know what I'm saying? Hyping up one, but you can look at the mother video and I and I talk all, you know what I'm saying, about that. You know what I'm saying? In detail. You know, but it seems that console, what he was talking about, isn't looking as fresh as it did. It's not a spring chicken anymore. So it seems like he jumping ship to another fan favorite. All right, he just hitching his wagon to another one right now. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully riding that thing out. We know you're trying to come right on right here and jump on this Microsoft train. This Microsoft train looking real good right now. I, I understand that. I, 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 I truly understand that, ball bull. I understand what you're trying to do. But it's not. You, 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 you. you talk so bad about it. It'll be so hard for you to come around and be a part of something that you spoke so harshly on. Yes, Microsoft did some horrible things. I'm still mad about the Connect. Everybody know this because I've been talking about that shit. I hate the Connect. Hate the fact that you gotta use it. But by the time that console drop, I don't even think how the rumors been going lately. I don't even think you don't have to use the Connect if you don't want to on the next gen console. You no, know? because they talking about bundles coming out without the Connect, smaller hard drives and all this. But it's all. Speculation right now, there's no truth to it. But I feel like later on down the line, they're gonna make it where you don't even have to use it. But I know you want to jump on this train over here, Ball Bull. I know you do. Because we looking the best right now. X bar strong, baby. X bar strong. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, let, let me let me go move on to the next uh, topic, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna leave that with a low. But get your facts straight, sir, before you put them out there for the people to hear them, though, man. And now you got EA. The good, the bad, the ugly. We're going to start with the ugly first, man. EA, EA, EA. See? You do something nice, and then it comes out, and I see some ugly. How you going to come out and say you going to move your game up to 80 bucks, man? 80 bucks? That's $20 away from 100, man. 20 bucks away from 100. Who in the hell going to be able to afford 80 buck games, man? I ain't going to be lining up to get no man for no damn $80. They ain't gonna have me no 12 o'clock. I, I, I honestly feel y'all gonna come to your senses and be like, hell no, that shit ain't gonna fly. But I ain't paying no damn 80 bucks for no damn game. I'm serious, man. Shit. 2K better come out with a football game or something, because I ain't finna pay y'all in the ass no $80 for no game. I ain't finna pay no close to $100 for no game. And if they do this shit, Microsoft, y'all supposed to be releasing the games at the same damn time. At the same damn time. So, if they release it for $80 in the store, I should be paying $65 on the console to download that shit digitally. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's been my whole stand. I shouldn't have to pay store prices for a digital game. Because I ain't getting nothing with it. I'm just getting a digital copy, which I don't mind. You know, I uh, waited that bitch go on sale. Wait till somebody return it and buy it for half off. I'm dead serious. I ain't even doing it. You know. And now we're gonna go. That's the ugly. Now we're gonna move on to the okay. You know what I'm saying? I guess the good. <laughs> we're gonna move on to the good, shall we? Okay, now read something that said. That EA putting out 11.1 direct 11.1 direct X 11.1 on the Xbox One and the PC and the Xbox Ones are supposed to be the best. I like that. 
because I support the Xbox One. <laughs> we already know the good shit is going to go to where the money is. We know this. You know, it's, it's no secret. We know this. And I support that. And I, and I, and I strongly think that Madden and UFC and all of those great games are going to be better on the Xbox. Xbox One, that is. You know what I'm saying? I, because it's, it's just way this series, you know, I mean, this gen. So, I want to think that I will continue on the next gen, you know, pick, you know what I'm saying? The exclusives go where the money go. You know, I mean, well, the product goes where the money goes, you know what I'm saying? It follows the money. So, and I think that's a real good look for, especially for the Xbox people, you know. Sony, Sony gonna have this Dan, Dan, you know what I'm saying? Day in the sun. Can't say that it's not, you know. But right now, a lot of good things is coming out for the Xbox, you know what I'm saying? And that being one of the good things. Um, and then something else I wanted to discuss, which I didn't get to touch on, was the NCAA not continuing on with um, EA. At first, it seemed kind of bleak. It seemed like the that EA wasn't gonna be able to drop no game. But what EA did, they went and signed a contract with the people who actually licensed the actual schools and you know what I'm saying those things and the bowls and all of that stuff. They went and signed a license with them, so we will get a college football game next year. It won't be NCAA, which is still a great thing. You know what I'm saying? They, they still get to continue on with what they was doing. It just won't be NCAA college football. It, it'll be NCAA football. It'll be college football. Back to, you know what I'm saying, the old days. But now we can get a competition. So I feel that is great. Now somebody just got to step up to the plate. 2K, Capcom, Rockstar. Uh, who else we got out there? Um, a lot of companies, you know. Um, Activision, um, um, BioWare, you know, you know, it, it, it's a lot of companies, man. Anybody can step in. Yeah, Team Ninja. <laughs> Did somebody step in and make a game? Square Enix. Can you imagine a uh, football game by Square Enix? I think that'd be cool as shit, man. You know, shit, that should probably be like anime style, like a motherfucker, man. A Square Enix football game. I think that'd be pretty nice. You know, so that that that's some real, real good news, man. You know, bring some competition back into the football round for next year. You know what I'm saying? On the college side, so hopefully they even put out a pro series. You know what I'm saying? To continue off of their um college series. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about? Hmm. I think that was about it. That and that I really want to get into. Oh. If you haven't, and you've been following me, make sure you go and check out um, my homeboy, League of Winnings. His link will be down in the description. If I miss something, let me know about it down in the comments. Um, I gave you everything that I could think of off the top of my head. You know what I'm saying? I went in depth, let you know how I feel about the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, make sure you check out my dude, League of Winners, man. That damn puppet is hilarious. I love that goddamn puppet, man. I just, he seemed like he been rushing it lately, though. I don't like the way he been rushing it. But other than that, man, it's, it's a great watch. He be trolling the hell out of the, the, the Nintendo drones and them, play, and them Sony ponies. <laughs> <laughs> we play slaves out there, you know. Uh, but you know, like, comment, subscribe, rate, comment, subscribe. Um. But until next week, you know what I'm saying. This is your boy John Doe with another two cents, and I'm out, later, people. Yeah, yeah.